for another market watch. Just going to go through a few things today. Nothing too long, hopefully. Just see some prices of what people are looking forward to. We have Gaia support coming out. Got to get those uh, five pound decks going. We've got um, no more stuff still coming out. People are obviously tr trying to get this while they can. People have slept on it. Prices are still going up and up and up. Let us go for a few things that people are going for. Like Lightning Storms. Apollos obviously we get pre-printed. Savage, as we know, that's there's a good chance that's get reprinted at least once, possibly twice in the next few months. So uh, yeah, let's jump into the video. Let's see what we can do. If possible, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. It helps me out greatly. As I like to interact with you guys. If you didn't like it and you leave this like, please tell me why you didn't like it. It also helps out. But uh, yeah, see you in the video. So just gonna go through some noble not stuff, and then we're just gonna go through some classics. And we're just gonna go through what's sort of going on in the market with some of the newer stuff, I suppose. So Infernoble Knight Renault, yes, yeah, super new. Obviously, I did a, a market which is not so long ago. Price is still sort of hanging in there around about the uh, 20 euro mark. A lot of Germans currently for sale. You want to play them as a playset? And then if you're looking for English, yeah, you're not looking to get a playset super easily in English. So, for English, he says, still looking. Oh, you Italian places. They go first English playing seventy five four. Just think it was very similar to what it was last week. They go to it's old. Two Tales of the Noble Knights. This is the Soul Fusion version. They do have the upgraded ultra rare version, which you know if you're looking just to have sweet nice extra monsters make for very nice upgrades and rarity, just because it's very unlikely that someone's going to damage your cards. But for the cheaper version, large Germans. As a rule, you only really play one of these in a deck. I, I, I've heard people play occasionally two of these and things, but I think it's for people who have decks where they just need to fill a spot in, and it's just it's a genuinely good warrior card. English, there you go, just under two. Then yeah, you look at two. There you go, place it if you really want to play a place it. Your deck just because you've got nothing else to do, especially if it's a full warrior deck. There you go. And then uh, a Torgius, King of the Noble Knights. Um, generic four, really. So. In the in the normal likes, you know, it's just two level four normal notes. English not so great condition, and then the English two pound. Here you go. If you want to play one of these? It's a very nice looking card. We've done the market before when I did the uh, normal notes before in the past. But uh, yeah, something to think about for your extra deck when you are playing in for normal notes. Lightning storm. Now there's a couple of in there's a couple of the normal notes. Stuff that comes out in Rise of the Duelist that obviously I can't cover now because we don't have any access to it in an English format or in a, a TCG format, so I can't really do a price range there. But with that being said, we will see it soon enough. Hopefully, we'll start getting some uh, glimpses of Rise of the Duelist in the next few weeks. Obviously, we're still waiting for Battles of Legends sort of sneak peeks to come out yet. It is the 7th of July when I'm doing this. 7th of the 7th. And we haven't had any sneak peeks yet. So we are expecting something probably like next week. At least the end of next week. Maybe the beginning of the week before. As the 23rd isn't that far away now. It's what? 15, 16 days away? It's going to be here. We can we think. So. Light Storms. Oh. Three copies of English up here. This will also be first edition. As there are no unlimited yet. As the unlimited room won't be here till I think. The future. Sorry about that. Cat's attacking things again. Chaos Cat. Yeah, prices are still sort of settled around just under 80s for these. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Prices started to come down just slightly. Although, they apparently dipped here at one point, but this is roughly where the price mark is anyway, so... I don't know who sold that one there. After yesterday, just want to say Dual Devastator. If you can get, like, a cheap box or two of these, I definitely recommend getting them, as there is some good value in these, as you will see in a second. An English copy it was placed it there. An English copy of this is seven euros. So by be postage looking at sort of like eight to nine pounds. Again, let's see if we can find a place that says place that only please was only one. Um cheapest place that in English if we could get one to the they go cheapest in English. Uh looking basically at twenty where is it going to twenty two pounds twenty plus price you look at twenty five pounds. That's basically the price of a box. With that, you get the other Ghost Sisters, also alternate air. Um, oh, was it? Oh, which Ghost is it? 
oh, I can't remember. Ghost Ogre. Ghost Ogre is an ultimate rare, uh, alternative art form, ignore me. Uh, plus you get a lot of the other sort of hand traps and other things such as Cobra the Grave. As we went through yesterday, this is ultra rare. A lot of these cards in here I believe are just ultra anyway, so it's a nice rarity bump for some people that just want higher, to ra higher rarity cards. But yeah, first couple here, English. This this guy's this guy went all out of these boxes. But yeah, there you go. If you don't mind playing in Italian. But if you can get help yourself like three boxes for say like twenty four, twenty five as much as that is kind of a big investment for just like essentially core cards, it's really good investment. I think you get something like sixty cards in it. To just super poly. But these are the top three cards in price in this in this box. And you can see they're not massively expensive. They go place it there, although you wouldn't necessarily play a place out of these anymore. So yeah. Dual Divers that really good box for what it is. I've seen people in America opening the uh twenty five dollar um like mystery boxes that you can get and they get they pull one of these, it's basically there, there's your value in that box already. Plus you get in the uh packs. So it's not all too bad sometimes. Infinite Impermanence, apparently my favourite card because we always bring it up in every single uh, mock watch at the moment. Yeah, 24 for the first English. Place that here in German, place that here in German. Two places there. Uh, Italian, Spanish. So yeah, as I've said, this price is just going to keep going on and up. Obviously, some locals have started to open up. Obviously, in some countries in European Union that have had lockdown lifted for a while, I've obviously been playing for a little bit longer. But yeah, if you don't have your place at this card right now, you, you are going to start looking at paying more and more and more until you are paying just or not necessarily overpriced for the card but you're going to basically start seeing why this is continually going to be the top priced card of dual overload followed by Halley Fibrex, Mr. Needle Fiber so sorry something very similar a lot of Germans, a lot of Germans some people play two with this card personally I think it's just a one-off in the deck but I think it depends how you want to combo or if you worry about losing it during a combo so you can combo it back in, into another piece Perfectly fine. Hell of a lot of Germans on the market currently. You get first English at 21. This guy's got four here. Uh, for 21.50. But yeah, I don't know what's been going on in uh, in Germany right now, but apparently they're shifting a lot of uh, dual overload. And then our third most expensive card from the set, which... Get it now, because soon enough, when everyone starts pulling Red Eyes Dragoon, and it's like, oh, we can't play the game without a Red Eyes Dragoon. What's the easiest way to play it? A 30 Anaconda. Oh, we can't play the game now because we never got the card because the card's now like 30, 40 pounds. Who could have foreseen this coming? Get your card while you can. It's not massively expensive. It was a little bit more expensive when it came out. I think it was, I think the sign price this card was like 25 pound. As you can see, it's definitely like price currently. Cheapest English is 18. Followed by 18.70 for English. Lots of Germans on market, so if obviously you don't mind German, help yourself to Germans. English again, and let's see where the next one is. So I think it's all just German English so far. Can we see any French? Can we see any? No, nope. there you go. French, Jewish French is 19.50. So these are your price marks for Anaconda. Get it where you can. It won't be here forever. It synergizes is very well with fusion based decks. Eldritch the Golden Lord. So Secret Slayers, we're just going to go through the top three price cards. Eldritch is just sitting really high. <coughs> Excuse me. Very allergy today. Just sitting like around the 80 to 90 mark still. Hasn't really shifted since. Yeah, so a couple of early sales in the month, but yeah, basically it's staying around this point. We believe it's getting a gold reprint in maximum gold, as they did kind of hinted it before, and you've, there's a view of me being very upset by that on the on the channel. But yeah, if that's the case, and people are like, well, this is a secret version. Yeah, you keep your secret. I'm gonna get my two pound version, so I can actually play this dead damn deck. Because everything else from this set is dirt cheap. After this card. So this is the next most expensive card here. It's the Adamanta Researcher. It was very short printed like uh, Outlitch. Good card. 35, 35 to English. And then you go in German, 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 English. Yeah, it's slowly coming down in price. I think people are kind of realising that it, well, for one, it wasn't as short printed as Outlitch. And two, Outlitch is just so... A pressing of a deck that it just keeping its high price range for that reason. But yeah, the Man's Pay Research, great card. I look as I've said before, I look forward to turning this into a set with Adamant Spaters meets uh, Jim Crook's fossils and 
Ugh, just make them mash together. Beautiful. And then this is the most third most expensive card in the set at four euros. So yeah, as you can see, there's quite a price drop between the three cards. Essentially between Teardrop and Outlitch, you're looking at like just off base, like a seventy-eight pound difference in cards. And this is something I've said before that Konami needs to start doing. You can't just keep having sets that are basically build a deck sets where ninety percent of ninety nine percent of your cards are trash price wise. They have two massively expensive cards that people obviously want to get hold of, but you can't play because people don't want to pay like nearly three hundred pounds for a set of free cards because it's not going to happen very well. When the third archetype set from here, which is obviously plants, is just on its garbage. Like, has anyone played this? I know we're getting support in the future, but uh, I'm pretty sure everyone looked at Rikas and was like, "Oh, it's also it's me a foot." No, it's terrible. The, the, pff, not, not even worth the cardboard it's printed on, which is very upsetting. Because even I said I'd like to have a go at making one of these decks, but uh, it wasn't very good. Access code talker. Did you buy yours yet? Did you? Did you? Because it's not coming down anytime soon. Did you buy yours yet? Because I haven't brought mine, and I'm hoping at some point I'm going to get myself some Eternity Code stuff and uh, hope, hope for the best. Although I think it's still massively sold out everywhere. So we've got a lot of Germans. First English is at 68.50. Next English is at 69. Oh, we've got an Italian here at 69. Oh, oh, a couple of places worth here. You know, 70. C8. Your. Uh, your stopping point in German is like 67, so it's then probably looking at 70 for postage, and then 68.50 in English, and then probably looking around about 70, 71 for postage. So yeah, you are getting there slowly with this um, process. They are slowly just creeping up and up and up. I don't know if it's here yet. Yeah, so you can't even see this, but this price literally just over a month ago it was going down to about the 40 mark, and I was saying, hey, when this hits 35, buy it now. We'd never got a chance to do that, but. Uh, if you watched that video and you did get a chance to put your finger on it before it did just jump from 40 to 60, then you were very lucky, good sirs and mams. Gisu, the Orcus Mech Knight, slowly coming down, had a very weird high height price, and yet I've not seen it do anything yet. I've, I've seen like uh, Nim Nim play this, like uh, his weird like Orcus uh, Mech Knight deck that kind of worked ish, maybe kind of, mm, a little bit. Yeah, it's fun. That's all you need to think about. So 32s in German, and then up to 35s in English, plus postage looking at about 38. And then, yeah, 35, 35, 50. Some French. And the Italian, Italian at 38, the English at 38, and the English at 38. So yeah, so you, you sort of your price mark right now is currently like 30, 32 to 40 pounds is roughly what you're paying for this card. I believe it's a good card. Like I'm not knocking the card and saying it's terrible, but I do think this is a good card. Its price is coming down slowly. I've said I think this is about a twenty-five pound card. Obviously, once it starts like busting metas and making other people like bend to its knee, it's going to go back up in price again. But yeah, it was never worth like the hundred pound card that it was getting sold for at one point. Obviously, there's stories of the reason why you know it was, it's a, a secret rare that was like slightly shorted. In a set that was getting like released in Europe, I think like in April, and then didn't get released in America till June. So there's like a there was a, a time gap where people just like obviously just grabbing with both hands and they wanted the cards. But uh, patience, you you have patience. You generally will win some games. Uh, my little Pichazzo dinosaur. Twenty eight in German, twenty eight oh oh thirties in German, and then yeah, you got your thirties in English. And then you've got your number 30 here. You've got 32, 32, two play sets here. So yeah, the English doesn't seem to be any play sets. The thing is, and which I've said, I'd love to get this, and obviously we'll, maybe we'll do a hunt for the Bejazzle dinosaur in a, some pack openings for the channel. Obviously try and make that dinosaur deck a bit better. But I have no idea if you play one, two, or three of this. I've been looking around. People, again, don't seem to be know what to do themselves. Some people say they play three of this, and then they play like one. Uh, Evolution pill, which I think is really strange. If you're going to do it, like that when you want to play 2 2, I, I don't really know, but yeah, that's it for today, guys. Thank you for joining me. If you enjoy yourself, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I know I said we should have had a good day today, but the rain's opened up at literally midday, 
and said uh, you had your first half that was quite nice second half is going down the hill so hopefully you'll have a productive Wednesday this time with a bit of sun even though it's going to be colder tomorrow sorry guys so yeah so peace out you guys have a good day goodbye